I'm Frances Mills, and today I'm coming to talk to you about what is Cajun. It seems like so many people want to know just what Cajun is about. So we want to we want to uh, go over and share a few things with you about the wonderful people that are called Cajuns. Um, the Cajuns love to experiment with herbs and spices and and uh, flavorings. And that's, uh, they're constantly trying to improve, which I don't know that they can. It's so great uh, as it is. So um, anyway, I'm going to uh, tell you that so many people have an idea that, that uh, Cajun means hot and spicy. And it's not that that's never the case, but it's really more about the flavor. Cajun does not necessarily mean hot and spicy. So you can get wonderful food that doesn't have that zing to it if, if, if it's not something that you like, you don't like the hot. So anyway, I advise everyone to try uh, some of the menus and recipes that we have been, uh, we're going to be sharing with you over the next several days, weeks, and months. All right, the culture of Louisiana. Um, the, the, there really are, there's really nobody quite like the Cajuns. The Cajuns are uh, fun-loving people. They're colorful people. They, um, they love life. Uh, they enjoy uh, being with their family and friends. They love music and dancing. And, uh, and they also love their festivals. That's another thing um, that they enjoy. And there's down here in South Louisiana, there are festivals upon festivals upon festivals. The Cajun people are very kind people. They are giving people. And uh, they, they would share anything. They open their homes to just anybody who would want to grace their doorsteps. They would share with you no matter whether you want a little or a lot, or whether they have a little or a lot. Um, so it's really an experience, and I hope that every one of you who are watching this video will get to meet some of the Cajuns. Um, now, I also want to let you know that they're also religious, quite religious people. And like I said, they're really family-oriented. They, they really are close in that closely-knit families. Um, they are inspired by hospitality, which is an inherited trait. Uh, they, they love, as I said, their festivals, their music, their food, and um, dancing. Uh, now, I'm going to take just a moment to talk to you about the bayou, because the bayous are where the Cajuns settled when they came to South Louisiana along the bayou. The bayous are really, uh, they're also considered swamps, which uh, they're the slow-moving um, outlet of a, of a lake or surrounding water, and which is, has a lot of marsh uh, with it. Um, most Cajuns spend quite a bit of time along the bayou, and many of them earn their living from the bayou. Uh, they are, uh, just spend, like I said, a lot of time on the water. And they're really quite beautiful. The, uh, the bayous are beautiful. If you see them in the, when the, either dusk or dawn, as the sun is either rising or setting, it is beautiful. It's, just, it's a beautiful, beautiful sight to see. And I just want to add, in case you haven't picked this up, I really do love the Cajun people. I love what they stand for. I love what they're about. Um, also, a little, just a little bit of the history. Uh, they came actually from Canada in 1755. Uh, they were in an area that is now called um, Nova Scotia. Uh, they were forced out of their homes, and they came into the United States and settled along the, uh, the uh, eastern seaboard. In 1784, they actually were allowed to come to Louisiana, settled in South Louisiana, and as I've mentioned, along the bayous, which are west of New Orleans. And they've been in South Louisiana ever since. There are some, as I understand, it's still up in Nova Scotia, but the majority of the Cajuns are here. And they have added so much to the Louisiana culture. They've given so much to Louisiana. Now, the last thing is, is that uh, if you go to our the, the uh, blog, uh, part of what we're doing here today, there is a, a recipe down at the bottom about uh, gumbo. Now, we're not 
did today I didn't do it from scratch, the gumbo from scratch, we used a mix in, in what you're going to see. But, it, but the mix that we decided was OTAN's uh, gumbo mix, which is made by Cajuns, and it is made with rice flour instead of wheat flour for those who are sensitive to wheat. It's also gluten-free, and it has no MSG in it. Uh, so I hope you'll try it, and uh, I hope you've learned something, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks, and God bless, and have a wonderful day. Bye.